Hey guys, we're making a cheesesteak. And then cut your onions like this. Now you wanna, now you wanna cut stuff like this. Be very careful. It's back and forth, back and forth. Oh yeah, so now you'll get pieces like this. Stop. Depending on um, where you put your pan at, make sure you turn it to six, depending on which onion oven you have. And then wait for it to heat. And then put about, put about a decent amount of oil. All right. So you you want to put that much, and then you can wait for it to heat up while you prepare for the other stuff. Like, then get out your sub rolls, fresh or not. And then when you hear the oil sizzling, what you want to do, diced or not, put your onions in for a certain amount of time. Um, sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, don't do what I just did. Because it will, it will splash oil. Like, make sure to like when you put in the onions or whatever, do it slowly, not like what I did. So yeah. Nextly, you want to get out your beef, then, then heat up your buns for a certain amount of time. And that depends on if you want to slide or not. Set your air fryer to 360 for a couple minutes. Then when the onions are ready, make sure to put them on a paper plate. Or whatever you may, whatever plate you want, with a napkin on top so that you can put the onions in, so that you don't eat any of the oil, which you don't want. Then put your fries or onion rings, if you want, in the air fryer for 360 between 10-12 minutes. Depending on what your onion rings look like, if you need to put in a couple more minutes, do that. Get your aluminum out, then put on your first piece of beef. If you want, you can put on some salt and pepper, and then whenever you're ready, make sure to flip it. I'm loving it. When you're done, hold on. So when you're done, um, after a couple minutes later, you want to check your onion rings again if they look good. Keep them in there for a few more minutes while we do the other stuff. Like mom just did, you want to make sure after a minute or so you want to flip your beef. Then put on your second piece of beef. More salt and pepper. When you're done with your leftover beef, make sure you get the aluminum foil in it. Then flip your beef after a minute. Right, that's then put, put that on down. your third beef patty. Then put on your salt and pepper for your third patty. <laughs> then flip your third patty after a minute. Then in mid-process, get down your provolone cheese or whatever cheese you want to use. Then put on your last beef patty, aka your fourth. Then put it on salt and pepper. And mayonnaise if you wish. Then after then after a minute or so, flip your fourth patty. We got all four patties done with. Then how you do it, put your cheese on your patties, or however you want to do it. You don't have to do it like that. Then while you're, you, you let your cheese cook, put in your onions. When they're ready, turn off the heat. Then time to put your beef patties on your cheese stick. Ooh, then when your onion rings are done waiting there, put your onion rings on your plate or fries, depending on what you're using. Or if you aren't using any, then you have to skip this part. And then enjoy. Mm -mm. This is a good cheesecake, guys. 9.2 out of 10. No, it's on the onion rings. Oh, 9.2 out of 10. So good. Hey guys, so the reason why at the end part of the scene, the reason why I was like this is because I was choking for a few seconds. So thankfully, thanks to my loving mom, she she saved me. I didn't well, do nothing, you did it. You got yourself out of it. Well, she helped me, um, and yeah. So that was kind of scary, so I apologize yes. about that. But yeah, we're going to end the video here, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and sorry we haven't done a cooking video in a while. Um, yeah, I've been focusing on other things, and we'll see you next cooking video, guys. Bye!